Well, hello and welcome. Welcome back to another reading. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's great to have you here on this channel. If you're new to me, I'm a professional psychic medium and I'm here to help you step into your greatest possible chapter in the areas of health, wealth, and most particularly, true love. So today's reading and channel message is going to be straight from your guides and angels and from God, Source, Yahweh, the universe, whatever it is you want to call that energy, that which needs you to know this information for the highest possible good. Today's video is going to focus on your specific love situation, love and life, but love situation. Um, when I asked Source and God what my viewers wanted to know today from me in this timeless message, this timeless reading, uh, I, I heard quite strongly that you wanted to hear exact and specific updates and clarity, what's going on in your love situation, and more particularly, what to do about it. So that's my job as a professional channeler. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your situation. Now, just a, a quick note, this is a reading for you. If you came across this video and you are in a love and life situation and you are looking for clarity, I'm using my abilities as a psychic medium to actually channel specifically for the viewers who watch this when they need to see it, okay? So that's how this works. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then please feel free to click off the video. If it does resonate with you, this message is for you, okay? If you feel it's for you and your soul. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the message for tonight. Calling in the source, calling in the source of all that is, was, and ever will be. Calling in God, calling in Yahweh, calling in the angels and guides responsible for this collective for the highest possible good and through unconditional love and light only. What is it my collective needs to know at this moment in time in their love and life situation that you'd like to share and communicate for and to them in this moment in time? The first thing I'm getting uh, very clearly is that you you need clarity. You watching, you need clarity. You really need specific, up-to-date, <laughs> detailed clarity. So I probably titled the video something around that if you're watching this now. Um, you want clarity about what's going on in in and around your emotional or romantic life um, and why things are the way they are, why things need to be the way that they are right now, okay, um, and why things are on delay. I keep getting uh, delay, delay, hold, hold. So you might be in a love situation where you feel things are not progressing as quickly as they should be or um, there's a delay in something within your relationship or your your want, your desired relationship life. Um, and you, the viewer, are wondering what I'm getting very strongly is why things are either taking so long, why things are the way they are, or they have to be the way they have to be. There's a feeling amongst you that things have to be this way. They have to be a certain way before it, things can proceed, okay? And so you're wondering, one, is this true? <laughs> That's what you're wondering first. One, is this true? And number two, how long? And number three, why? Those are the three questions that I believe I'm, I'm here to answer today from God, your guides, and angels here through me and through with unconditional love and light. Okay, the first thing is we're going to answer why things are the way they are in your love and life situation. Um, the, the, the reason things are the way they are is because you asked for it. Now, I already know most of you are going to say, you're going to be like, what the heck are you talking about, Brandon? I didn't actually ask for this. And what I will say to you is that your higher self, your soul, asked for things to be this way for a very strong reason. Okay, In your love and life situation, your higher self and your soul asked for things to be, quote unquote, on hold or on delay for this period of time so that you could really understand what it means to go through what they're calling a gap in love like the like in like in the existential uh situation right like to exist in a situation where there's a gap in your love and life situation and where it feels like there's a gap almost within yourself right because your situation is so intense and so um basically there was no other way to experience this type of feeling, right? Almost as if there was a missing piece of you, right? There's a missing piece, there's a gap, there's a hole inside of you. And it's like, that's why, okay? This, the first thing is that's why that this situation or this person that you're connected to right now is the only one that you could, you have a true love with, that you're experiencing true love with, right? In this moment in time. That's why you, 
that's why you came across this video is because you're experiencing true love for what it is. And when I say true love, I just mean unconditional love, God's love, right? True, actual love, right? Not fake love, not trauma bonding, not all this other stuff, right? Attraction, true love, okay? So the person that you're connected to, you are and have been experiencing, you have this existential experience of true love with this person. And because of that, because you got to experience that, and now there's something in the way or there's something that's on hold or something delaying the situation. Now, because of that, you're experiencing this gap, okay, so to speak, in your existential situation. I don't know why they keep using that word. I'm not sure what it, there, there's a meaning for that word. I don't know why because it doesn't really make sense to me, but they're saying the word existential gap in your situation in love where it feels almost like, yes, there's a gap within you, okay? And so your soul actually on a higher level craved for yourself, your human self, the part of you that's having this earthly experience, right? Which is a different part of you, by the way, the 3D human self that's having the experience in this body of yours that you're watching this YouTube video. That's a very different part of you than the part of you that is like connected to God, what we call your higher self, right? There's two different parts of you here. And so your human self is essentially the on the ground soldier, right? And that that part of you gets to be on this earth and go through these experiences and emotions and you're essentially blind. You know, you can wake up some certain abilities and have psychic awakenings and things like that, but essentially you're blind to what's going on and, and that's because that's the only way to cause certain experiences and emotions that your higher self connected to God really wanted to have, really wanted you to have, your higher self. Now, a quick note here for those of you who are new to some of these concepts or you're, you're maybe a little confused when I talk about this stuff, that's totally okay. Wherever you're at, by the way, that's we will, I welcome everyone. We welcome everyone, obviously. But um, the whole purpose of life, <laughs> we're going to go into the purpose of life. Now. The whole purpose of life here on earth is actually just to experience everything, like to experience everything possible. Okay. So you are God. If you're watching this, you are God. You are source. You are part of source. You are God. Okay. God is source. God comes from source, right? So your goal as a human is to experience what reality is essentially without knowing it all. Okay. So if you were to just sit up there with and as God, right, which you could and some souls do, you would just no, you would just exist and you would just know everything. You would be everything all at the same time. All would be good. But down here on earth as a human being, you actually get to experience everything. You get to experience fear, anger, jealousy, love, sex, passion, okay, desire. You get to experience all these amazing emotions. You get to experience crying, crying uncontrollably. You get to experience lust. You get to experience like, you know, the ups and downs that make life life as a human being, okay? And if you were to just sit up here, if we were just to sit up there with God all the time, right, as a soul, it, we would never get to actually experience those things because we would already be them inside, if that makes sense, right? We'd already have that integrated within us. And that's why we actually come down to earth to, in a way, experience all the things that we know about, right, or that we are up there. Okay, that's just a little side tangent to let you know that that's the first reason if you're going through this, if you found this video, God and your angels want you to know that's the reason why this is happening. It's not because, you know, God and the universe hates you or the person you're connected to hates you or you hate yourself. It's none of that. It's just because <laughs> maybe some some parts of us hate, hate ourselves a little bit to put us through this type of experience. <laughs> it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard sometimes. but. No, you don't. I promise you, you don't. You actually, that's, this is, this is what it was meant to be. It's by design, okay, that you're experiencing this gap, this disconnect uh, of the existential part that, that is you, okay, that in the form of true love, the form of your lover, okay, the form of your love and lover on this earthly experience, okay? So the first thing that I want you to know is nothing is awry here. Nothing is wrong. Nothing, nothing is awry. They use the word awry, right? meaning outside of the norm or outside of what you wanted to experience. And uh, this is the statement right here. I really want you to focus on this statement. 
okay, this is very important that they're sharing this with us, is part of your distress, if you're watching this, is the feeling that something's wrong, right? That That's part of the distress that you're feeling. Part of the distress you're feeling is that something's wrong because I'm experiencing this gap between me and this person or this situation, and I'm truly in love with them. This is a true love situation, right? If you're watching this, that's who I'm talking to. And so part of you is distressed because you think that because you're going through this, it's wrong in some way or it's not right. And that answer couldn't be farther from the truth, actually. The truth is it's perfectly right. It's perfectly in alignment with what you you desired as a higher self, what the plan was for you to go through so that you could experience what that is. Now, the second thing that God really wants me to tell you, and your angels, the biggest thing they want me to tell you, is that if you are going through this situation, and specifically, this is really special, specifically if you are watching this video, okay? Like if you made it to this point in the video, and you are watching this part of the channel message, and you're not part of the people who said, I'm going to turn off because this message is not for me. This guy's a, a crazy man, <laughs> which fair enough for those of you who were considering that, okay? But if you made it to this part of the video, the second thing that God wants me to tell you is that this experience you're going through is not meant to last forever. It's not meant to re last the rest of your lifetime. It's not even meant to last that much longer at this point, okay? You have gone through, most of you watching this have gone through about roughly 75% is what they're showing me, okay? For those of you watching, take it as it resonates though, of course, se roughly 75% of what you have been meant to go through in terms of this disconnection within your true love situation, within this perhaps separation or within the this delay or whatever's going on in your particular situation. But this is all it was meant to be. It was not meant to last a lifetime. It was not meant to last forever. It was not meant to be a permanent delay or separation or disconnect, okay? Whatever it is you're, you're experiencing. It was meant to be a temporary experience so that you could experience this experience, the pain associated with this overall experience, and then for that to then dissolve away, or for that more, more so to be um, integrated within you. Okay, so the whole point of what you're going through, and I know I can feel some of you getting emotional right now, is actually so that you could go through that and integrate that experience and then come together as you're meant to be with your person in this lifetime, okay? With the person that God and the universe has for you, the one that you are in truly in love with. And I want to say that because, you know, you can have love for someone and truly experience that as love. And if that is not your person, God and the universe will always, always, I promise you, I promise you, Okay, from personal experience and also from what they're showing me, always intervene in that situation and redirect you so that you do end up with the person that God wants for you, that God has for you. Okay. So when we say that, we mean the person that you are in love with, the, tr the true love situation that you are a part of in this moment in time. Okay. That's the situation that you will and are meant to be together with and end up with in this lifetime, despite potentially experiencing this gap or this disconnect, this delay or the separation, simply so that you could integrate that experience before you go into togetherness, okay? Union, togetherness, right? Completion, really, it's it's the, the, the word of the energy is completion that they're showing me within your current love situation. Now take a moment. We really want this to give you like the clarity that you've been looking for. Okay. This is exact and specific, as specific as I can be from your guides and angels from God uh, in your situation. Okay. Um, that all is well, all is well. And you'll know it in your heart. You'll know it in your soul as I'm talking to you right now, if this is for you and specifically also who this is about for you. If you came across this video, right, there is someone in particular, there is a relationship in particular, there is an event happening, there's something happening 
where you're having these experiences. And let there be no doubt, that is the person that God intends for you. If you found this video intends for you to be with in union, you just needed to go through this experience first. Now, the question is why, right? Why? And they want to share why you they, they wanted you to go through this or your higher self wanted you to go through this. It's all about in this lifetime, for whatever reason, your soul wanted to experience that for appreciation. I don't know why. I don't know, you know, what the exact purpose of, but that's the word. It's to so that you could fully, fully appreciate when you are together with your person, when you are in union. There's no other way to more fully experience or appreciate and experience that union than if you had had it taken away first. That makes sense. There's no other way to more fully appreciate and experience that union, that togetherness with your person in this lifetime and, and the experience of true love than if you had had that experience with that person taken away for you for a temporary amount of time first. <laughs> that's the reason. That's the other part of the reason why. The first part, again, is you wanting to experience it. And the reason why you wanted to experience it, part of the reason is for that so that you could fully appreciate it. Because those of you watching this video, there is no doubt, right? Let there be no doubt. When God and the universe gives you your person and gives you your situation and hands it to you on a silver platter into your life after going through this 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 uh, disconnect or this other experience, you are going to appreciate that like no other. <laughs> you got to appreciate that like nothing you've ever appreciated ever before. There's nothing you're going to have appreciated more than what is going to be delivered to you on your doorstep. Okay, we can all promise you that. Um, okay. And uh, those of you watching, you've really earned this. We want you to know that uh, as well, that this isn't just like, you know, we're not just, again, we're not just talking to everyone, right? There's, there's a certain amount or a certain group of people that the guides and angels and God are talking to right now. And those who are not meant, they've clicked off already, all right? Um, because energetically, right, I'm I'm tapped into the frequency of the core of you, the audience who's watching this right now. Okay, so even if you don't agree or you think I'm crazy, right, and you're still watching this, this is for you. It's still for you. Okay, but God wants you to know that if you're watching this, you've earned this. You've earned the right to be able to have this experience of this temporary disconnect and also the coming together with you and your person and all of the appreciation that will come with that for you and in this relationship. Okay. The journey that you've been on, the sacrifices that you've made, and you know exactly the ones that we're talking about in this moment in time. Okay. Those are the ones we're talking about that you have had to give You've had to give up from yourself to other people, to source, to God, to your angels, to the universe, just, just for the highest good. And you know exactly what I'm talking about if you're watching this video. And it's those sacrifices that you have made that has earned you the right to be together with your God-given person in this lifetime. If you were wondering why, in the end of all this, why do I actually deserve to be with the one that I love the most, the one that God has for me, and my true love situation, it's because you've earned it. And if you're watching me right now and you're still connected, you know exactly why you've earned it. You can't, you can't doubt it anymore. You can't debate it. You can't doubt it. You can't just shove that off to the side. You have earned this union and this relationship, and you know it. Which is why it felt so unfair when you feel that God took them away, him or her away from you for a certain period of time. Right? Because you know deep down that you've earned this. You know deep down that you've been waiting for a very long time for this opportunity. And this opportunity is here in this lifetime. It's for you. We promise you. Hey, we would not be giving Brandon these words to ch the channel for you. <laughs> It's like, trust us, Brandon has many other interests he could be talking about right now besides love and true love and relationships. And yet we chose him to say these specific words to you, the audience right now, so that you could be reassured and you could have the clarity that you're looking for about why all of this is happening. <laughs> okay. If there, was any, if there was any further doubt. <laughs> okay. As to why you're hearing this message. 
Now, there's one third and final thing that I think we need to cover. Ah, that's right. So they're saying um, the questions are of how long and what you you watching, you the viewer, need to be doing about this situation right now. Well, mostly just living it, okay? Living it in this moment in time. Like not trying to run away from it, not trying to hide or shield away any of the emotions or the doubts or the insecurities that come up or the triggers that come up and all of it. We just want you to be experiencing it. Actually, it's not even we, it's it's you. It's your, you, your higher self, wants you to just be in it. Not try to get it done with or, or get it to the next level already. Just be in it fully. Know that it's meant to be happening. Know that you did this by design and know that this is where your soul wants you. Okay, this is where God and your soul, your higher self, wants you in this moment in time. Okay, that's what mostly you're meant to be doing within this period of time with yourself. Okay. Um, so long as I want to tell you, so long, here's the most important part for those of you watching. So long as you fully experience it, like you fully dive into the experience of what you are going through. And you don't shy away from it and you feel everything and you go through everything and you transform through everything and all that stuff. So long as you continue to do that, everything else will be taken care of for you. Okay. And that's the biggest thing that they want me to tell you is the only thing you need to be doing right now, dear viewer, is going through that experience fully. That should be your number one priority right now. Okay. If you do that, and if you take care of that part first as your first priority right now, and we know that sounds crazy for those of you watching, you're like, well, Brandon, what about money and rent and family and this and that and all the other things that you're doing? Totally understand. But you come first. Okay. You come first. Your experience come first, comes first. Your healing comes first. But mostly the experience that your higher self signed you up for. And we're telling you from God and the angels to you. If you go through that experience and you prioritize you going through that experience, which is what your higher self designed for this period of time, we promise you everything else will be taken care of for you. Okay? So we don't want your attention uh, to be scattered anymore. That's the whole point of this part of the message is we don't want your attention to be focused on, well, I have to make that my first priority or this person or that person or that or this. No, we just want you to have your experience as your first priority. And as you do that, the world around you will morph so that everything is just given to you. Everything will be just given to you. Okay. And that includes everything that you need and want right now, whether that's money or security or fun or adventure or whatever it is, right? Everything else is going to be handed to you so long as you prioritize that one thing first. Okay. So that's what to be doing. The biggest thing about what to be doing right now, that's where God and the angels want you to focus everything on. And we know that sounds, again, very simple and also a little crazy. If you're new to this channel, that's how I work. Simple and crazy. <laughs> As you couldn't tell already. But that's how, <laughs> that's how things should be. Things should always be simple. Okay, They don't need to be complicated. Um, that's the number one priority. And so as long as that's taken care of within your life, dear viewer, everything else will be taken care of for you and handed to you. Okay? So we're asking you in this regard to trust the process. We are asking you, God and the angels, to trust the process of that, okay, first, um, rather than specifically the external things that are trying to draw your attention outwards, this internal attention is required first to experience it. And once you are fully done experiencing this in the ways that you're meant to experience it, as we said, it will dissolve itself. You will have integrated it. And at that point in time, the choice will be yours. Okay? The choice will be yours at that time. Because right now it might seem like you might not have a choice, right? If you're watching this, you might it might seem like you don't have a choice. When this is all done, you will have a choice. Okay? And most of you are going to choose to move to the next level in your life, in your experience, and in your union. Some of you will not. Getting about roughly 10% of you watching will not. And that's okay. 
because that's always the nature of free will. And that's the importance of free will is that we don't have to do anything. Okay. We don't have to do anything. Those 10% of you who are watching, the reason why you won't do it is because you just don't believe it's possible. Okay. And uh, it saddens us. They say, as they're saying, it saddens us to, to say that. It saddens us that, that people exist who have this destiny, who at the end of experiencing everything that you're experiencing and all the sacrifice and all the loss and all the things that you've had to go through, and then you get to the end of that and then you have your decision as to whether you need to go, or you're ready to move into your next level of life and union or not. And that the only reason you wouldn't is because you don't believe fully that it's possible for you. So this message in part is actually to help those of you who, who wouldn't believe, the skeptics of you who wouldn't believe that it's possible, right? And, and you know, we'll, we'll see you in the comments because <laughs> you always show up in the comments, those of you who doubt your own future, you doubt your own love situation, you doubt your own destiny with and beside God and your person in this lifetime. We're talking to you. What a shame and how sad we would be to see even one person, one of you, not move into your love destiny because simply you don't believe it's possible for you, even when it's staring at you right in the face. Okay. And we want this message to hit you in your heart space so that when, in your heart chakra, so that when that opportunity arises, you don't refuse it or do nothing simply because you don't believe it's possible. Okay. Now, again, for most of you, that's not going to be the case. Most of you are going to say, heck yeah, I earned this. I'm ready. And you're going to be willing to take that huge leap of faith and make that decision. 90% of you or so. But for the 10%, we want to t we want to tell you, okay, don't hold yourself back simply because of a lack of belief that something is possible. Because if it's for you and it's looking at you and it's right there in your reality, it's real and it is possible. And it's meant for you also. Okay. Now, that's the main message they wanted me to share. Um, the last thing that they want, want me to address is time. Okay. Now, um, time is a very important word and subject and matter right now for those of you watching. And uh, it's also related to your understanding of how spirituality and how the world, right, the actual reality of the world works. And what they want me to tell you is that everything, you've always heard, you've probably heard this before, but they're telling me everything is energy, even time. Okay. Um, now, this is going to be pretty out there. So just, you know, mind that. Um, but this is, this is what they're showing me. Okay. So time is energy. So time doesn't so much exist in the way that we perceive it as like this linear thing that moves forward. It's time is based on energy, meaning the more like as experiences or as emotions are processed, right? As energy is processed, that's how, that's how I should say it. As energy is processed, time moves forward, like the timeline moves forward. Okay. And that is very different from what we as a human being, right? We as human beings, we know as, as linear time, right? Seconds on a clock, okay? That's different from time, from the timing of the universe, right? The time, the way that time actually works in the, in, in the reality that the guides and angels and God are showing me as, as a psychic here, <laughs> um, okay? Their time moves based on your energetic experience. And... So there's a couple things here. Number one, that is a certain, there's a certain amount of energy. The way it works is there's a certain amount of energy that you would have to process or go through or experience before that time, quote unquote, can be up. Okay. You can't get through all of that energy and all those emotions and all that experience in one single day or one single week or right. Sometimes even a year or two. Right? It takes a certain amount of time, okay, 
for all of that to be experienced that you're meant to experience as a soul before things can move forward. Okay, does that make sense? So there is no time. <laughs> that's the whole point is there is no, I can't give, there's no number we can give you because that's how it works. Um, that, We can give you estimates sometimes. Like if you get a reading and some, you know, if you're working with a, a really good channel or a psychic, we can give you estimates sometimes because based on the rate at which you, the viewer, like go through your, your energy and your emotions, at that rate, it might take in human time, say a year or six months or two years, whatever that, whatever the, that's just hypothetical examples, right? Okay. But here's the other variable is that you as a human, you don't have to go through the energy and the emotions all the time, every second of the day. In fact, sometimes that's impossible because there's other priorities that you might have. Does that make sense? So that's why the question of time is so challenging, right? Because on many levels, it's very different than the way we understand it. And that's just something, that's just a little snippet that guides wanted to share with all of you watching so you understand that that's, that's what's happening. Is you, you, all of us and you are going through this a certain amount of energy for you to experience to get the experience that your higher self and God wants you to have before you can move forward. Okay. But the, the question of time is irrelevant because like, well, how fast are you going to go through that energy, right? How fast do you want to go through that energy? How fast can you go through that energy, right? There's all these different variables because you may not want to be going through energetic experiences all the time every day or you may just not have the actual you know time to do that because you have a job or other obligations things like that so everyone's timeline and time the way time works is different and also depends on your choice and free will and all these other things but we say this to you so that you know there is no again there is no set amount of time it's just how quickly you go through the experience that you're meant to go through before you move forward into the next experience okay that god has for you and that next experience we've already told you is everything that you're wanting and more right now in your love and life situation okay it's everything you've ever wanted and you are only watching this video right now if you have or are experiencing the gap we're talking about and some of you are watching and you it's not you're not go, even going through that now you went to that before and you're still part of you still wondering why you had to go through that. This is your answer for that too. Okay, just to be clear, some of you are watching and and everyone's situation is different, but the energy of who I'm talking to, I can feel the energy within you, and uh, and that's what I'm addressing. That's what we're we're addressing here uh, today in this moment of time. Okay, anything else, God and angels, that you wanted me to share with the viewer today for this timeless channeled message? Um. All they're saying is, uh, we know it's difficult sometimes, but enjoy it. Please enjoy it. Please enjoy it as much as possible. Maybe the word enjoy, not so much in the way that, <laughs> that not so much in the way that us as human beings know the word enjoy, right? We, we, th we typically think of the word enjoy as pleasurable or feeling good or fun, all those things. And the way that they're using, guides and angels are using enjoy is more so just revel in the experience because this is on a deep core level what you needed and wanted to, to experience. And if you can find that within yourself, dear viewer, if you can find the area within you that actually wants and is reveling in the very exact experience that you're going through, life can become really, really amazing. Life can become very, very blissful for you when we can find the part inside of us that is actually thriving and wanting and meaning to go through the exact experience that you're going through at this very moment in time. We love you all so much. We hope this helped you at this moment in time. Um, do we have an extended today, by the way? I didn't mention any extended in the reading. Uh, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> We're going to decide. Guys and angels and God, uh, do you have an extended for... For those of you watching, yeah, <laughs> he does. Okay. Um, all right. So we will have an extended. Now, uh, what's the extended going to be on, if you don't mind me asking? Um, so 
everything we shared is for you, the viewer, to know. The extended is going to be the same exact channeled uh, like update or messages, but for and about your person, the person you're connected to, the person that you have this gap with. We're going to be going deep into what they have been and are and will be experiencing uh, in this moment in time for your situation. And the purpose, they want me to cover the purpose of that. Okay, so there's no confusion. And um, and why this is coming from the highest possible source. The purpose of that is so that you can actually have a match with what you may be feeling or experiencing inside. And then what the cards and what the clarity is showing. And we will be using Tarot again in this extended, by the way, for those of you wondering. So if you don't like Tarot, you know, but it's coming from the same source. Okay. So don't worry, but it's, it's really to help you match up and identify, okay, yes, I was experiencing all of that. Maybe some of you are drawing the same cards, coming to the same conclusions. Now, Brandon, this apparent psychic is drawing the same things. And I feel that in my soul inside as true. This is the purpose for the extended for those of you who want that. Okay. If you want that, you don't have to get that obviously, but if you want that, that is available for you. Um, and, uh, and, and designed to give you very specific clarity on and about your person in this moment in time, what they want you to know, what God wants you to know about them in this moment, what they're feeling towards you, what their intentions are, what they're experiencing, etc. while you're going through the experience that you're going through and you can feel and see and get clarity on what they're going through as well. That's what, that's what the extended will be for those of you who are interested in that. Um, and for those of you who are interested in continuing this work with me, okay, as a channeler and as a psychic medium, um, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, be sure to hit that like button as well. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the YouTube video greatly in the algorithm. And please be sure to leave your experience in the comments below. I will be taking a look at all of them and, of course, hearting them and replying to some of them uh, as I can. And I look forward to more content like this. Um, and I do want you to know as well that I don't know when it's going to be done. I don't know when it's going to be completed, but there is more coming from me. There's more work coming from me. There's more group coaching. There's more content or resources. There's more stuff coming from me soon. So if you are enjoying this and you really want to go deeper with me, just know that that is on the horizon. I don't know when yet, uh, but I do know <laughs> that it's coming in the near future. So thank you so much for your patience. I love you all. We love you all. God, angels, and the universe want to tell you we love you all. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the extended or on the next one. Bye for now.